Hey guys, this is a follow up video on the last one I did. I didn't explain why I wanted to do the extension, so I'll show you. If I plug this in here, it um, overlaps the case and it's too tall. So I have to wire it like this so it can be thin and it doesn't get in the way. Um, so now that you've seen why I want to um, get this done, I will show you how to solder it to the um, board itself. So you want to get yourself a um, six strand um, ribbon cable or seven strand if you want to attach ground, which isn't necessary, but um, I usually try and do it. Um, Anyway, so you want to pre-tin these. Now I've already, I had to desolder this to do this video. So I'll just clean up these cables a bit. But you just want them to have a little bit of solder on them. So now I always turn it this way and um, solder away from the connector itself. Uh, it just makes it easier later on to solder to the motherboard. Simply solder it on like um, what you do to the motherboard. Once again, try not to bridge your points because it's pretty damn annoying. And um, also check your points if they're strong or not. Uh, you don't want them to move or anything before you hot glue them, otherwise they might come undone and stuff up your connection which will make it not work so I've got two to go and optional really is ground depends on how you um, do it later on if you're going to stick your board to the case which will ground it or you want to do it like this I'm on my last pin. Okay, this one went pretty easy. It didn't um, bridge any points. So now I'll show soldering it to the motherboard. Okay. If you um, plug it in here, um, this, this is ground, that one, but the pin next to that, in front of my thumbnail, um, corresponds to this one here. So if I turn that around, um, this will be ground and then these will go along to um, their pins. So like always, pre-tin your pads, well they're not really pads, just your pins I guess. And you can get ready to solder. Yes, there's no freshness like holes. Anyway, um, you don't really have to do ground, but I choose to just, I don't know, that's how stock they are, so it's not really that much harder to do. Now, I find pre tinning your wires is also a good practice if you want to make good solder joints. So there's um, six pins, one of them being power, two of them being data ones, and I think the other ones are just ground or no connection. 
So really if you wanted to find out, you don't have to solder all of the cables on. But oh don't pick up solder just after you've heated it, it hurts. <laughs> anyway, so I'm go on to this. So there I've just bridged bridged my two Third one. So these pins are actually numbered. Not that they really, not that the numbering helps you at all. But, I don't know, just an interesting thing that Microsoft did. Two more to go. Now I think this is almost this is the last extension I have to do. Apart from I guess the video wiring, which I did a short non-soldering tutorial on. Um that's definitely gonna be next. Now that that's done, some of them, if they look like um, they need a bit more solder, just um, pre tin your iron and dab it, trying not to do what I just did and bloody. and bridging them. This is always annoying. Sometimes they are hard to desolder from each other. But if you just run your iron in between them, usually it should get them off each other. Oh god. So that's another thing, you don't want to use too much solder. But it'll do that. Um, okay, that's done. So next video will be the video wire. Um, enjoy. Please um, rate, comment, subscribe. Haven't said that in a while. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.